In this video, three exercises to help you burn fat, build muscle, and save time while you do it. Coach Hunter here from Hybrid Fitness where we help you take small steps to get big results in your health and fitness. And if you're here looking to lose weight, look great, and feel great, hit that subscribe button down below in the little notification bell to get new videos on tips and tricks like this every single week. And as we start this video off, I have a question for you. If we're sitting here six months from now, looking back on your time of your health and fitness program, what kind of results would you need to get to feel super pumped about your progress? Is it losing 10 or 20 pounds with less aches and pains? Is it getting more definition in your arms so you feel more confident in your clothes? Maybe you want to get so strong and so fit that no matter what physical task is thrown at you, you know you can take it on. If any of these three relate to you, then I've got a challenge for you. We were just talking about your six month goal and I know six months can seem like a long time. In fact, if you're anything like me, looking at a six month feat would be very overwhelming and I would wouldn't know where to start. But the truth of the matter is, if you want to see some jaw-dropping results that are going to make you feel great, but also have your friends asking you what the heck have you been doing, you do need to commit to some exercise regimen or a nutrition plan for six months or more. And look, I know you can do it. So if you know you have it in you and you're ready to get strong and fit, then I'm going to show you where to start right now. So you don't procrastinate on this, so you can avoid overwhelm. This is where you start. You start with your first month. For your first month, I challenge you to committing yourself to doing a few exercises just twice a week. Can you do that? Does that seem doable to you? Because that's all you need to do to get stronger and more fit. Is it worth it for you to do a total of eight workouts in a 28 day period so you can get stronger, you can have more energy, you can be more fit and be more confident in your body and in yourself? If you said yes, then let's hop into the challenge. If you're in for the 28 day challenge, click that like button down below and leave a comment and tell me why is it important that you do this challenge? Why is it important that you get stronger? Why is it important that you get more fit? Drop that down below in the comments. So here are some of the materials that you're gonna need for the 28 day challenge so that you can be successful and get stronger and fit. One, you're gonna need a workout journal, something to keep track of everything we do so you can always get a little bit better. Two, you're gonna need a pair of dumbbells. And finally, three, you're gonna need some grit. Some grit to get started because once you do, once you start exercising, once you start eating healthier, you're gonna feel good, you're gonna get motivated. The results you see will motivate you. And when you're motivated, it's gonna be enough to not only carry you through this 28 day challenge, but carry you for this month and beyond. And in a moment here, I'm going to demonstrate all three exercises for you. And I'm also going to provide you with three different options for these exercises. A beginner option, a novice option, and an expert option. And if you're somebody who's worked out your whole life, then you'll have an option to challenge you. Or if you're a beginner and you're just getting started, you have no experience with working with a personal trainer or working out on your own with strength training, then you will be fine with this too. So all I need you to do is get out your journal and as I demonstrate these exercises for you in a few minutes, I want you to write down the version that's gonna work best for you. Get those pens ready because here is the first exercise. We're hopping in with the squats. So the first level of the squat is a uh, box squat. And this is a great option for you, you know, if you got aches and pains in your knees or if you're just new to the exercising thing in general. So in the box squat, what I'm gonna have you do is have your feet about shoulder width apart. Once you have your feet shoulder width apart, we'll have your toes pointed out slightly, but find what's comfortable for you. It's different from person to person. From here, you're gonna sit down, and as you sit down, I want you to bring your hands out in front, and then just gently tap your butt to the bench, and then you're gonna step right back up, squeezing the glutes at the top, and as you push up here, you're gonna push through the center of your feet. Very good. Exhale up. So the second option that you got here, or the intermediate, is a goblet squat. So now what we're gonna do is have our feet about shoulder width apart, same idea, but we're holding a weight here and making contact with our chin. I have a mic right here, so I just gotta be careful. Okay, you're gonna go down and then right back up. Notice when I go down that my knees aren't caving in, they're staying out over my ankles. I'm gonna have you drop down in your goblet squat. As you stand up, I want you to rip the floor apart, squeeze the butt cheeks with an exhale. Okay, the third move that we've got here is a split squat. So this is a great option, you know, if you max out the goblet squats, if you are ready for a challenge, or more of a challenge. 
So you're gonna start here with your legs at 90 degrees, so 90 degree in front, 90 degree in back. We're gonna tuck our back toe, and then if my right foot is forward, I'm gonna have the weight in my left hand. Okay, from here, I'm gonna come right up. And now, a little balance here, have something here if you need it. You're gonna inhale down, and exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up, and that's gonna really work the front of the legs. So those are your three options for your squats. All right, next up, the second exercise is our deadlift pattern. And the deadlift is really great for working our glutes. It's great for working our hamstrings. So again, these big muscle groups are gonna help you burn a ton of calories. So what we're gonna do is start with a movement called the good morning. So this is level one. What we'll do is have you have your knees bent slightly, just like this, and have the weight up here to your chin and your chest, just like in the goblet squat. Okay, at this point, what you're gonna do is think about sticking your butt back to the wall. Notice how my upper back's staying straight, and I'm feeling a little, a little pull here in my hamstrings. Once I can't go any further, I'm gonna squeeze my butt cheeks. Imagine there's a penny between your butt cheeks. Don't wanna let it fall on the ground. Squeeze the penny and stand tall. I'm inhaling down and exhaling up. And notice how I'm getting my hips through pretty quick. I'm being explosive about it. Number two, or level two of this, is now we're going to a dumbbell Romanian deadlift. So this is gonna allow us to hold a little bit more weight. We're gonna have our feet about hip width apart, soft knees, still thinking about butt to, butt to the wall behind us, and I'm keeping that weight nice and close to my body, to my shins. Once I either start to round my back, or I can't go down any further, I'm gonna squeeze my glutes and stand tall again. Now when I say stand tall, it does not mean that you bring your hips forward and you round your back. Okay, I just want you to stand up like you normally would, except with a butt squeeze. Okay, and now finally, the third and more advanced movement is a single leg remaining deadlift. So what you're gonna do, have one weight in one hand here. If the weight is in my right hand, I'm gonna have my left foot planted. Shoulders back and down. I'm keeping the weight pretty close here, and I want to shoot to get about a 90 degree angle in my, the back of my leg here. Now, as I go back, sometimes there's a tendency to have this foot pointed that way. We want to have that foot pointed down. So keep the foot pointed down. It's going to make sure we're working the right muscles. And if the balance is really tough for you here, you can modify this by keeping that foot down and then slowly working it up over time. So that's really gonna attack your legs and your butt cheeks. Have fun with that one. All right, now we're under our third exercise and it is the plank and plank variation. So the first one we're gonna work on is a low plank. And there's different levels of this, but I'll explain it with my elbows on the floor. So I'm gonna have my elbows stacked underneath my shoulders, my palms to the ground, and what I'm gonna do is drive my elbows down towards my knees before I pick myself up so my core is already engaged and I'm holding this position. Thinking about driving my elbows to my toes as hard as I can. Making a really intense exercise. Now if this piece is a little too hard for you, no worries. You can do the same thing up on a bench, just like this. Okay. The key here is we don't want that lower back to start sagging down. We should feel this in the back. If you do, just pick your butt up in the sky. You're still gonna be able to get that core firing without hurting your back. Now, the medium option, the intermediate difficulty is we're doing the same thing, but now we're doing toe taps to the side. So my elbows are driving to the toes, but I'm actively moving my legs to increase the difficulty. And now finally, the advanced option. So you can pick up a pair of furniture sliders at Lowe's or any department store, Walmart maybe, uh, or you can use uh, socks on a slippery surface or something that's gonna let you glide. So you're gonna put these under your feet, like this, change my angle here, elbow, elbow down, get my core engaged, and then I pop right up. Okay, now all that's gonna move is the angle in my elbow. So I'm going out, and in. I'm inhaling back and exhaling up. It's extremely important here that that lower back doesn't curve down. You don't extend the back because I don't want you to get injured. So 
work up to this. Find the options that work best for you. Write them down in your journal. And then, in a second here, I'm gonna give you the sets and the repetitions, how many of these to do so that you can get strong and fit. Now that we've gone through all the different exercises, it's time to talk about how many repetitions you're gonna do and how many sets you're gonna do. So to give you an idea, a repetition is if I do one, two, three, a set would be a round. So I could do two rounds of three repetition. So hopefully that makes sense. And disclaimer, you can write all the sets and reps I'm about to go over in your journal, or you can take advantage of the free Never Plateau Again cheat sheet, which is going to be shown to you at the end of this video. And that will give you all the sets and reps so you don't have to do it on your own. For the first week, do each exercise as follows. We've got two sets of eight to 10 reps on your squats and deadlifts. And on your planks, you've got two sets of three reps of 10 to 20 seconds on your planks, or you do five reps if you have a different variation. For your second week, do exercise as follows. You've got three sets of eight to 10 reps on your squats and your deadlifts, and three sets of three reps of 10 to 20 seconds, or five reps on your planks. For the third week, do each exercise as follows. Two sets of 10 to 15 reps on your squats and your deadlifts, and two sets of three reps of 15 to 30 seconds or eight reps on your planks. And for your final week, do each exercise as follows. Three sets of 10 to 15 reps on your squats and deadlifts and three sets of three reps of 15 to 30 seconds or eight reps on your planks. I recommend spacing your workouts two days apart. So if you work out on Monday, then you'd wanna work out on Thursday. Give yourself plenty of rest in between to rest and recover because you actually get stronger when you recover, not when you're actually doing the workout. So by following this program each week just like this, you're gonna get stronger, more fit, and you're not gonna plateau. You're not gonna see your progress stall out. It's gonna be constantly changing as your body gets stronger, as your body changes, so it's gonna look like this, baby. So as I mentioned earlier in this video, I created a few free tools for you to help you succeed even more in this challenge. And the first tool is our free Facebook community. It's called Hybrid Fitness. Lose weight, look great, and feel great. And within that group, you're gonna have access to myself and our other coaches to answer questions for you to go through this. You're also gonna be able to get access to our free Never Plateau Again cheat sheet, which is gonna make sure you don't plateau again. It's gonna give you all the sets and reps that we talked about earlier, so you don't have to write it down in your journal. So all you need to do to get access to that is click the link in the description below or go to getstrongfeelconfident.com. Again, that's getstrongfeelconfident.com to get your free Never Plateau cheat sheet and get in that group. It's also gonna feed my two tuxedo cats. They're hangry and you're not gonna like them when they're hangry. Look, you've got this. I know 28 days can even seem like a long time, but it is just the start to your journey and we're gonna be here right by your side. Get in that group, get the cheat sheet. We're gonna make this happen. You can do this, nothing can stop you but you. And I know you've got it in you. Write down, let me know in the comments why this is important to you. Don't forget, you need to know the why. Guys, I can't wait to see you in this challenge. And until next time, small steps, big results.